Hey friends, it's Natalie here with Anime Everything Online, and today we're going to dive into something super cool. Did you know you can make your favorite anime characters come to life with a little help from AI? You heard that right. All you need is a simple motion capture AI software, and your anime waifus and husbandos will be busting some moves. In this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how you can do this yourself. The best part, you don't have to spend a penny, but there are some paid options out there that I'll tell you about too. But first, Check out this dope video I made using my own AI model. And don't forget to give this video some love. And hit that subscribe button for more awesome anime content. I know I could have gotten fancy with the video effects and everything. But I decided to keep it simple for the sake of this video. Anywho, what you just saw is the final result of this tutorial. The video on the left was the actual human model that I used as input. And my custom model captured the movements from that video and replicated it. The video on the right is the final animation that I rendered out of Blender. Alright folks, let's get this party started. Here's how you can bring your favorite anime character to life in a dance video like the one you just saw. And to do that, all you need is a platform called Deep Motion. It's this sweet tool that uses AI to make 3D animation a breeze. But here's the catch. It's all about the 3D for now. Sorry 2D fans, but 2D animation isn't available just yet. But trust me, the movements you'll get from Deep Motion are seriously impressive. And the best part, there are only 6 easy steps to follow, with 1 optional step for extra tweaking. Let's go through each step together. Step 1. Time to set up your Deep Motion account. Setting up an account with Deep Motion is quick and easy. And it's even free. Of course, the free version has some limits on how many animations you can create each month. But it's the perfect starting point. And don't worry, I won't bore you with the account creation process. It's a piece of cake and should only take a few seconds. Once you're all logged in, take a look around and check out all the cool things you can do with Deep Motion. Step 2. Let's find the perfect dance video like you saw at the beginning of this tutorial. You will need a video of a real person to get the balls rolling. Here's what you need to keep in mind while hunting for your dance video on YouTube. The video should have only one dancer, and their background must be still. There should be very minimal camera movement. The video should have a full body view or at least a waist level view of the dancer. The dancer should not be wearing loose clothing, as it'll make it harder for the AI to pick up their moves. There are a couple of more restrictions that you should be able to find on the Deep Motion website. Keeping those rules in mind, I think dance tutorial videos are a great place to start since they tend to keep things simple without fancy camera movements or edits. In my case, I went with this K-pop dance tutorial. Once you've found your video, download it using a free tool like SnapSave. Then, crop the section of the dance you want your model to imitate. I use Wondershare Filmora for this. But feel free to use any video editor you like. Remember, the free version of Deep Motion only allows inputs that are 20 seconds or less. So keep that in mind while cropping. All right, let's move on to step three. Time to generate a dance video with the default models. Before you can make your cute anime characters dance, you gotta first animate with the default models that Deep Motion provides. The functionality to upload your own custom models will only be unlocked after that. For now, head on over to the Create button in the Animate 3D menu and upload the video you just downloaded. Then scroll down to configure some parameters. This is where you can tell the AI whether you want hand tracking, face tracking, etc. For the best results, turn on physics filter and hand tracking. Now hit create and let the AI do its magic. It'll automatically make the default model copy the movements from the dancer in the video. Step 4. It's time to get your anime model. You have a few options to choose from to get started on this step. Option 1. You can create your own 3D model of your fave anime character. This will give you the freedom to customize it just the way you like. Not to mention, it is completely free. Option 2. If you're not feeling super confident in your modeling skills, you can always hire a freelancer from Fiverr to make one for you. Prices will vary depending on the complexity of the model, but you may be able to find someone for around $10 to $30. Option 3. You can buy a 3D model from marketplaces like CG Trader. They have a wide range of quality anime models to choose from. Just keep in mind that the model needs to be in VRM, FBX, or GLB format, and in a T-pose. And it must be rigged properly or it will be rejected by Deep Motion. So while buying your model make sure to read the info boxes to save yourself from losing money. There are some free models in CG Trader as well, but they don't really meet the requirements of Deep Motion as far as I've seen. But if you're lucky, 
You might just be able to find one by the time you're watching this video. In my case, I went with option number one as I already had a VTuber model that I had created for this channel. Step 5. Let's get your anime model dancing. Now that you've got your own 3D model of your anime character, it's time to get them dancing. Go to the 3D model page on DeepMotion, click on Upload, and choose your VRM, FBX, or GLB file. Next. Head back to the Create Animation page and choose your anime character's uploaded model. Then repeat the above steps that we followed with the default models. That's it! You just made an anime dance video featuring your fave character. Step 6. Exporting the video. You might notice that the final result will have your input in the background like this. I'm guessing you don't want that, so in order to export the video properly without the background, you need to download the GLB file. Next, head over to Blender, which is the easiest animation software on the planet. I'm using Blender 3.4 on this video, but even if your version is different, it shouldn't matter. Now, you would have a default cube in your Blender project. Just go ahead and select it and delete it. Next, go to File, Import, and then choose the .glb extension. Here's where you choose the GLB file we downloaded from DeepMotion. Once you've imported the file, click on the camera, the rectangular box with an arrow, and then click on View, Cameras, Active Camera. Now you will be seeing what the camera sees. Here is where you can set your camera angle. You can also make some cool camera movements if you want, but I'm not gonna cover that part in this video. If your model is not at the center of the screen, then just head over to Views, Navigation, Walk Navigation. By doing this, you can control the camera with the W, A, S, D, Q, and E keys. W will make the camera move forward, B for backward, A will take it left, and D will move it right. The Q and E keys will move the camera up and down. After focusing the camera on our model, it is time to export it as an MP4 video. To do this, click on the printer-like icon on your right, and choose the output file directory. I'm gonna go with Download. Then select the FFmpeg video as file format. After that, Expand encoding and choose the container as MPEG-4, also known as M4. You can also tweak the output quality here. Once you're done, click on Render at the top left portion of your screen, and then click Render Animation. Phew, that was a lot of work. But guess what? We're completely done now. You can also add green screen background before you render the output. But this video already turned out to be longer than I expected, so I'm gonna have to skip that part. But fear not. I've linked a tutorial video in the description that teaches you exactly that. Finally, here's an extra step for those who want to take it to the next level. If you're someone who likes things to be perfect, you might have noticed that the hair and cloth physics are missing from the animation we just made. If you've got some animation experience, you can add those yourself. And what about the camera movement? It never changes, right? That makes the video a bit boring. To make the video more exciting, try different camera movement and shots to give it a more cinematic feel. Again, these are extra steps that you may or may not want to do depending on your preference. If you are not experienced with animation, you can simply hit up freelancers on Fiverr to get the job done for you. Either way, that's it for this video, and I'm gonna need a breather. Hope you found this video helpful. Also, post any questions you might have in the comments. I'll try and answer them as much as I can. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.